What's up everybody, it's Lil D's Corner here. So today, we're going to be talking about will the Ravens sign Antonio Brown. He, he played for the Bucks last year, like week 9 through the like playoffs and all that. And um, yeah, I'm going to be talking about that in, in this video today. And first and foremost, like the video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel, I'm on the road to 50 subscribers. If I can get there, it would be really appreciated. And let's get into it. So, like, today's video is going to be about, like, should the Ravens sign Antonio Brown? And, in my opinion, I think that they should because, like, the Ravens, I, I, obviously, you guys know they signed Sammy Watkins, which was a big signing for them. And, like, I, like, I don't think, like, they should stop there. They should still try to get another receiver. And to be honest, there's not much good receivers left in free agency, and except for Antonio Brown. So that's why I was trying to, like, that's why I was probably thinking about them trying to sign Antonio Brown. And um, if they sign him, then I think that like they'll be set for next season. Obviously, the draft is after free agency, and they could like, try to draft like a good linebacker if they don't get Antonio Brown, and then a good receiver or something. And that's because if they keep Orlando Brown on, on like the offensive like the offensive line part, then they'll be good for, for the offensive line for next season. Unless someone gets hurt, then they'll have to put in you know like Tyree Phillips or one of those guys. So, I yeah I, yeah to be honest, in my opinion, I really hope they do because I don't want them to just stop here and then not get you know a receiver. Because, like, still, they're not done yet with the receivers. They, they've only got one, which is Sammy Watkins. And, you know, obviously he's a good player. He's not, no, you know, he's not, he's not like, a bad player. But, he, like, he's not, like, you know, he's not, like, on the top charts, like, top ten. And Antonio Brown is probably one of them in the NFL. So that's why I was probably thinking about, like, if the Ravens should try to sign him. Because also, you know, he – Marquise Brown is his cousin, and he's on the Ravens, so maybe, you know, Antonio Brown could teach him, you know, like, to, to have some, like, better route running, and, you know, like, he could, yeah, like, just, like, he could help him on his route running, and maybe his catching a little bit, so he don't drop the balls, because I remember in, like, week 14 last year in 2020, he was, dro he dropped, like, the, he dropped, like, a, like, Trace McSorley, because Lamar got injured, you guys probably remember that. Um, Lamar got like injured or whatever, <laughs> and then um, Trish and Shirley came in and then, like he threw a pass to Hollywood and Hollywood was wide open. He probably would have went for a lot of yards and then Hollywood dropped it. And I think if like Antonio Brown came in and tried to help him on his catching, then he would be better at that. But um, yeah, that's really all I that's really all I really you know had to say about it. And um. Hope, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. There, there are probably going to be a couple more videos today. Maybe one. If there's not, then obviously you guys know I'll probably post a video tomorrow. And yeah, that's all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'm out. Peace.